Hello. I wanted to share with you guys a point that I walked and a point that I'm still supporting myself, my family, my daughter with. And that is the point of getting in the habit of setting goals, of having vision. And this is something that um, we see more and more where children are and even young adults are just driven by emotional impulses, meaning they're chasing, their goal is mainly chasing uh, a feeling. Uh, if I get this, or if I have this, or if I do this, then I'll feel this way. But in essence, we want to teach and show our children to have long vision to build for the future to see further than today further than tomorrow to really be able to see come up with an idea a vision uh of what where they want to go what they want to do what they want to accomplish and then set themselves out to really follow that unfortunately we don't see a lot of that in today's world because uh, we're filled with social media and following the next trend and the trends are you know, quick to come in and quick to leave. But um, I wanted to share a couple of examples because we, um, the way we are parenting is to support our daughter into setting goals, into uh, having a vision and seeing that vision, following that vision, and then accomplishing it. One of the ways, for example, that um, our daughter was able to do so is, um, when she was four, she said she wanted to play the violin. And we set out, we found a teacher, we found somebody to teach her. And, <laughs> and then um, we, she worked her butt off um, and <laughs> she worked her butt off. She really uh, overcame every obstacle in the sense of really just the motor skills that it takes to play the violin. And then when she learned to play the violin, meaning her body was able to not to now naturally put her fingers and body posture where it needed to be, she said, okay. And she told me, she said, okay, I accomplished my goal. This is what I wanted to do. I did it. I'm done. It was really cool to see a four-year-old have that much determination to be able to see what they want, reach out and say, hey, I want you to find me someone to teach me how to do this. And then put herself through a whole year of that, a year and a half of that, and then accomplish it and say, okay, I did it, which then led her to now be able to apply the same thing over and over again. She um, recently, uh, decided she wanted to write books, her own books, and come up with her own stories, which she did. Then she came up to me and said, okay, I'm, I'm going to write a book. Um, can you help me get it printed because I want to sell it? And she had this whole vision within herself of, okay, this is my goal. My goal is to really share my story with everyone, right? So I want to sell it. I want people to read my story because this is a good story. And she came up with how can I get to this point? So I'm going to talk to my parents and ask them to get it printed, to help me upload my illustrations and get it out, right? And then also get it out to people. But the most amazing point with this was that she took it upon herself to also reach out to people. She has seen me um, have booths and, and, and sort of like uh, promote um, the tools that I use. And she said, okay, well, I can have a booth too. So we started searching for booths um, to see where she could set up her own and then start selling her book. So there's this further vision of not just like, oh, I'm just going to color something today. I'm going to come up with this. It was more of a long-term goal, that, uh, something she saw and envisioned. And then she started thinking of ways of how to get this done, how to make it into a reality. And this is important to begin to nurture and to uh, sort of seed in for children from a very young age. My daughter's five years old right now. 
um, because it's going to determine how they see life in the long run. Most people, the reason why they still have a nine to five, the, mo the reason why they are not making the money that they want to make, they're not where they want to be, they're not within the accomplishments they want to be, it's because they don't have a vision, they don't have purpose. There's no purpose of why they're doing what they're doing other than to pay their bills every month. And if we're able to nurture children to see this from a very beginning, then they can grow up and then have that. The reason why companies are companies is because they had a vision, they saw something that could happen, and then they started asking questions and how can I get this done? And then they got it done. They brought it into a reality. They employ those people that don't have vision and don't have purpose. But we want to raise children who are not only geniuses, but also have the vision to execute and accomplish physically in this world the things that are going to support others. So to nurture this from the very beginning is key. How did I do that? Just very simple. Always when we play, because all of our interaction is mostly playing with our daughter is well, what can we, what do you want to do? Even when we're just going to play with dolls. Okay. What are we playing? What is, what is the, the story? What are we doing here? And always asking questions. So she is now asking questions within herself and coming up with ways to solve problems. And it started just as simple as that is how can we solve a problem? And as she learned to, okay, I'm not going to focus on this small thing. I'm going to this is all true too <laughs> so instead of uh, so we started with okay let's solve problems let's solve problems now she can apply that concept of okay of solving problems to hey what if i came up with this how can i solve this how can i have this how can i come up with this and it's really amazing because um I see it a lot in children today, the, the, the rate of depression, the rate in which children are now going into these rabbit holes of, uh, I don't want to live anymore. And everything, you know, is just horrible. Uh, I can see it where there is a lack of vision. I have asked so many uh, young adults, what, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? What is it that you want to see for yourself? And they have no clue. And even if you tried in that moment to say, well, you know, just tell me, they can't come up with that because you must build within yourself the ability to, to have a vision because you have to come out of this point in this bubble within yourself that it's only living in survival to then be able to live in a place where you are not no longer in survival, but other than, hey, how can I solve this problem? People who are in survival mode, they just, they're going, they're going, they're going, there's no thinking, there's no thought process, there's no processing going on. So it is key. Um, we have applied it with our daughter and we can see the accumulation of doing this over time with her, how she on her own has come up with um, how, uh, having a problem and then on her own coming up with solutions, being able to reach out to others, right? It's not like she has this idea and then it's a, just in her brain and then that's where it stays. It's like, hey, this is what, this is my idea. How can you help me execute it? And then we obviously support her with what we know. Where do you get, for example, a book printed? How do you reach out for a booth? Because she, it's not like she logs in on the internet and searches all this stuff eventually she will get there but she's five right now um and just simple things for i'll give you another quick example um she just started gymnastics so after she finished the violin i asked her what do you want to do next do you even want to do anything because everything that she has done thus far we don't push like we're like oh we, i'm gonna put you in soccer so you're gonna do soccer there we don't do that we i always asked is it something that you want to do, something you want to ex experience, to try it? And then her next thing, she said, I want to learn how to do gymnastics. Specifically, I want to learn how to do cartwheels, flips, and um, splits. So I said, all right, 
and handstands. So I said, okay. So I found a place, um, searching everywhere where is best suited for her. And I found a place. She then started, um, doing gymnastics. Now here's the really cool part about, about this. She went in there with a purpose. It wasn't like, I'm just going to throw my child so she does some exercise, or I'm just going to put her in there in hopes that she likes it, or we're just going to go because we're going to play and that's it. She went in there with a purpose. And the second class, so the first class, they just, she, she was getting acquainted and she, they, they showed her how to do a flip on the, on the, on a bar. Um, and f so you put the stomach on the bar and then you flip and I can see how she's just like her, she's just understanding the process of it all. So by the second class, she then uh, uh, does it on her own. She steps on a little step and then she flips on her own. That was my first time. It was her first time doing it on her own by the second class. First time she tried it real, you know, understood the process of it. Second time she went and did, she did it on her own. And then out of all the kids in the class, she comes out running and she throws herself at me and she hugs me and she's like, I did it, mommy. I did it. Did you see it? I did it. Because I was really proud of myself. Because she was proud of herself. She has gone into this class with a purpose, with a vision of what she wants to accomplish. And that's, even though she's having fun, by the way, she's not like, oh, I'm strictly going to learn this, that, that, She's going there to have fun anyway, but at the same time, also executing the purpose that she went there for. And she did it. And she was so proud of herself. And the whole time when she's doing, she's focused. She's like, okay, this is what I'm coming here to do, but I'm also having fun. And you can see the difference in a child when they have purpose and they do something because it builds in that self-confidence. It builds in that purpose, vision, long-term, I'm going to be successful in this. And it really brings in something for the child rather than just doing something just because. And again, building this from a very young age is extremely important because it's what we build now in the first seven years. It's what's going to run with them for the rest of their life over and over again. So I wanted to share that. If you have any questions, if you need support, uh, we use amazing tools that allow us to support us with this. And um, if you want to reach out, if you want to find out more, just um, either send me a private message or leave a comment. Bye. Ten fingers. <laughs>